What's up guys, Lil Nolan here, and today, I'm talking Baruto. Now, I know a lot of people don't necessarily like Baruto, and I get it, That's, it ain't the Naruto that we grew up with, it's just not, like, all the characters that we actually care about are, you know, they're older now. Some of them didn't go the route we expected. Some of them did exactly what we expected. We just didn't get to see their, like, the beginnings of their careers and stuff. We didn't get to see, like, their, their budding romances. We just kind of saw the end results of their romances and stuff like that. And, like, I get it. A lot of that stuff could be disappointing. Like, you wanted to see... Like you wanted to see the weddings, you wanted to see the 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 struggles of them getting to their positions. You wanted to see the the years in between. I get it. That's what a lot of people wanted to see. Honestly, I, that's what I wanted to see. I wanted to see Naruto getting the Hokage position and then trying to keep the village safe, keeping you know keeping the the world at peace after the the whole war and all that stuff like that. And I wanted to see, you know, how they got to where they are, like how the, all the technological advances happened, like the, the changing in time and stuff like that. But that's not what we got. OK, what we got is all the, you know, old Naruto gang. They're grown now. They're they're older now. They get a lot of them got their own kids. The village is a lot larger. It's a lot more advanced through peacetime. They had time to actually build stuff and build on top of the things that they've built already instead of having to restart every couple of months because some new creature or some new enemy then showed up and decided to bring the whole city to its knees. It's, it's, they didn't have to keep rebuilding over and over again, so they got a chance to advance. Awesome. I get it. It's beautiful. I love it. And uh, a lot of the people that uh we expected to do one thing you know maybe uh ended up doing something different Arto itself isn't really a, it's, it's not really supposed to be like a a sequel in the sense that we are like expecting it wasn't it's not going to be like the adventurous type sequel where they're searching for meaning in their lives and they're searching for their their you know their potential they're searching for the path to their future this is the future that they're in now they're in their futures now it's their it's their kids turn and i think that baruto is really a a show for parents you grew up with naruto this is this is like naruto was like your childhood that was that was what you grew through you grew with along with naruto and then as time goes on you know naruto got his own kids maybe you got your own kids and you get to see like the struggles of these ninja that we grew up with and how they now deal with the ambitions the goals the the disappointments the the you know the the searching for meaning of their own children now it's now it's not necessarily that the main character searching for meaning in their own life now because I, I still don't like Baruto being the main character I still can't get over like the Naruto cast being the main character so I just kind of see the show from like their perspective instead of Baruto's perspective but like all of our favorite characters are now in the same position as some a, a lot of us I can say all of us but a lot of us are where it's like now we have to instead of worry about what we're gonna do we know what we're gonna do now we have to help mold the next generation which is you know it's a struggle because one they had their own ambitions and some people might try to live through their kids like uh who was it Eno? Eno was trying to have her son be one of the people that had the visual uh jutsu down but he was more into the scrolls and that was his dad's thing and it was like you know she she had to struggle with like okay yeah maybe this isn't your thing and all this stuff like that and and then naruto being the hokage he's the he's he got his dream he's the head of the village he has all the things he wanted he got the girl he got his dream job he got the the importance that the village wanted he became the hero 
and uh he now he's got two kids and i'm pretty sure he's he's all like you know he's all about like you know like i'm all about all the stuff that's happening in my life but as hokage especially in naruto world like that's a dangerous job like that's a that's a full-time no times off people is plotting all the time there's organizations everywhere there's bandits there's all kinds of missions and stuff like that all the time and there's only so much energy that any one person can expend especially in a high high up job like that and so he got it he got what he wanted but at the same time because of it his relationship with his kids is suffering and his obviously uh, Hinata gets it. She knows. She's like, "Yo, this is this was his dream. He's he's a very important person." She, but she's grown, and she watched Naruto grow. She watched Naruto from like when they were kids all the way to adulthood. Like she's like, she knows what the story is. These kids don't know nothing about the story, but what the parents tell them. Like the the kids don't know anything about the story, but what they hear from books or they hear from old you know older people or what they they read off of like the back of ninja cards and stuff like that or in in you know stat sheets and and stuff like that they don't they don't know the the true struggles that their parents went through until you know certain lessons happen in the in the, in you know during the episodes and stuff like that like when baruto talks to sasuke or kakashi or when sakura talks to the uh, uh, the the redheaded chick with the glasses that biting people or letting people bite her and stuff i can't remember her name either but uh you know like they they have to piece together their parents lives and stuff through this jumble of you know information that they get from all these other people because a lot of the times a lot of the pain that their parents went through they don't want to they don't want to talk about it which it happens as an adult there's certain things that you go through that you don't want to tell your kids because you don't want them to see you as somebody that either did that thing or went through that thing or had to you know had to survive a certain thing like a certain trauma like even uh sasuke his daughter she has the sharingan and the sharingan you advance your sharingan by witnessing or feeling something that is very intense like a super intense emotion like you witness your friend die or you witness your family die or you witness you know like a crazy battle and or you or you have to you know kill somebody you care about or whatever or you know something to that effect it doesn't have to be necessarily death every time it could just be a betrayal it could be you know it could be numerous things and you, your sharingan would awaken well she wanted to know how her sharingan could get more powerful like her father's and she so she asked her father and he was like yeah, i don't know if you're ready for that and like he, he didn't know how to explain to her that the only way to advance your sharingan is through intense emotion and hard work and pain and it was like you don't just you don't just gain it you have to you have to experience something that you know most people don't want their kids to experience and he didn't know he didn't want to say anything about it and sakura was worried she was like well i don't know how i feel about her knowing these things she had to talk with hinata and uh Eno. they were like yo like you you realize you weren't like a you weren't no pushover yourself you was actually kind of you kind of wild for our generation you naruto and sasuke were like the most wild people in our generation how are you gonna you know you can't you can't hold sasuke's you know history against him and put that on uh sarada because like that's that's her dad she's got she's got certain traits of his so she's got to take some steps that are going to advance her in order to become a strong ninja and some of those steps aren't going to be fun but as as a ninja she's got to grow you can't keep her from hearing sasuke's truth you can't keep her from becoming strong just because you're afraid or you don't want her to know this and it's like there's certain conversations in this show where it's like you know the kids are are trying to become better they're trying to they're trying to reach goals that sometimes their parents wanted to reach or you know just people in general as they grow want to reach like becoming uh the hokage now that's sasuke's daughter's dream it's not it's not naruto's son's dream it's sasuke's daughter's dream and baruto just wants to be a 
a great ninja. So there's always like there's all these other goals and stuff like that that um you know sometimes the parents might have like they might be like well you know that's kind of a hard path are you sure you want like that it's like that that uh you know i don't know if i don't know if you're ready for that yet i don't know if this and that because they know what they had to live through to get to where they are they know they know the struggle of all these wars these kids have only seen peace for most of their lives they don't know what it's like to be you know a preteen or a, a young kid like like kakashi or or itachi or any of those guys that had to kill somebody at like eight you know, they don't know what it's like to be in that they don't know what it's like to be fighting against madara while he's just running through the, your whole your whole army pretty much body and people one at a time in in real time going the speed of light practically they don't know what that is they don't know nothing about most of the ninja war that people you know they just know certain snippets so it's like it's more about how naruto characters interact with the baruto generation of kids than it is just about baruto it's not just it's about this this group of kids we watch grow up now has kids and so we're watching how they interact with the children of the new generation and knowing their backstory we see them struggle with how they try and to help their kids but at the same time try and protect them from certain truths and they try and like sugarcoat the past which we saw in in, in all its bloodiness and all the the we saw the craters we saw the bodies we saw the the fire we saw the smoke we saw the asteroids come down we saw all that stuff and so we're watching them try and sugarcoat it for the kids and we're like yo like that's not exactly what happened but at the same time like we can't we can't fault them for trying to to try and keep their children like trying to protect them because it's time of peace they don't need to know all these things but at the same time it's part of their growth so i don't think baruto itself is it's i don't really think it's wholly about just his generation because most of the coolest parts of baruto have naruto characters like it's mostly about this generation that we saw grow now it's trying to mold the newest generation in a time of peace after they've they've practically saved the world but at the same time there's small dark underlying things that have to be battled now in this generation and at the same time there's old demons that are, need to be dealt with by the people in this new generation that have to be taught to them by the people of the old generation and how they decide to impart that wisdom and information onto these kids is now the main part of the story it's like like i said like they know the they know the whole truth they know the real truth we saw it now we get to see what it's like to be a parent to try and protect your kids from that or try and help them grow past where you were to get beyond where you are or to get at least an understanding for who your kids are as as beings themselves where it's like they have their own dreams and ambitions they don't have they don't necessarily have to follow your path they could be totally different even the, even if they have to have you know certain experiences to grow they may take those certain experiences way differently than you did you know what i mean as a as a as a parent so I feel like if you're a parent, Baruto is kind of your this is your thing. This is this is your show, and people that enjoyed Naruto would enjoy Baruto if they look at it from the. It's not about the kids in this show. It's about the relationship between the families of the the people that we witness grow up. It's a continuation of their story. It just so happens that you know they have kids. And this is what they this is what they have to do to continue the village. And if you look at it that way, it's more it's more I don't want to say tolerable because it's not I don't think it's I don't think it's an inherently bad show. I just it's it, like as as much as I wanted like the series to just 
kind of pick up where it left off but like show us the the adulthood stuff and all that like how they went about after the after the great ninja war uh i can't say that i'm i can't say i'm disappointed because we also get to see like decades later like this is like this is like what happened this is what happened to the village after this is what happened to the those kids we watch after this is what this is how the world was changed by the events that we witnessed beforehand and you go at it looking like looking at it from that perspective it's it's a different it's a different story it's not it's not just baruto it's you know baruto naruto next generation it's the it's the generation after naruto so if you don't if you don't have kids or if you don't at least interact with kids like a teacher or uh you know a tutor or a daycare worker or you know you're not like some aunt or uncle or something like that that you know you know that's watching over kids sometimes you don't necessarily understand how some of these conversations can be difficult so i get why you may not like the show but watching your favorite characters have to navigate the same issues that you have to navigate is is a you know it's a it's a cool thing this is why we love anime which is why I think Barto is a, it's a good show. That being said, you know, you don't have to like it. In, in all honesty, you know, I can understand why you don't. But I feel like Barto, in and of itself, is a good show. Little on that.